on Leicher, because someone said it there, Leicher has been rusty. Can we just have a quick conversation about Leicher? Well, yeah, I've, I, you know, it's funny about uh, Lissandro Martinez. It's, it's the same as we do with every player, isn't it? It's um, they are the greatest thing since sliced bread. Then maybe they have a, a difficult couple of games. Actually, they're a fraud. They're not that good. They're terrible. Yeah. I've been saying since day dot that they were terrible. Yeah. Um, this is Martinez, why I want to have this conversation. He's, he's still, for me, is uh, look at the difference between when he's not in the team versus when he is. The problem is at the moment is that we're not playing very well in general. But he'll get yeah. back to it. He'll get back to it. Remember, he, like we just said, he missed, for all intents and purposes, nearly a season of football last year. Yeah. Um, he played over the summer in the Copper Copa yeah. America. So back to whether, I don't, I don't think he's like miles off. I mean, some of the sort of discussion surrounding him recently is that like he's been putting in absolute stinkers. Now maybe you look at the second goal. Definitely he should have done better against um, against Liverpool. Definitely. What other ones would you say he should have done better in against Brighton? Was he at fault for any of the goals? As well. Yeah, could have the, done. He the, could have done. Could have the done. Maguire better. one, yeah, but he he was he was in no man's land for the first. But still, but and still, there's a couple of rusty like, rusty points. It's, but he's, it's, he's he hasn't returned to it. But it's not it's system. not enough to be like, see, we've overhyped him. He was never that good. Blah 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 blah. I think that's a bit of a, a bit of a stretch. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll get back to his regular form again. <laughs> who in that team at the moment? Are we going to point to go and they're playing really really well? Yeah, there's no one. No boy. Um, I I. For me on Leecher, I just, I don't know, I've just seen it the same way. I haven't pivoted from what Leecher is, what he isn't, what he's good at, what he's not good at, um, and how valuable he is versus, you know, when he's not in the team. I've just seen it as we, I did, I, I personally did think there was a little bit of a over, like you say, you know, that far left. So it's like, right, he is the best centre back there's ever been. Like he's he's he is that he's he's amazing. Like you know, forget Van Dyke, forget Prime Rio, forget. Te I'm telling you, Van. Um, you know, Leecher is he's you know. Um, for me, I was always like, well, he's really good at what he does and really important for us. But if he doesn't have certain ingredients around him, he's less he's less effective. Just like a lot of players are, if you don't have the right system, if you don't, you're not in a settled back four. So for me, I think like his right hand side has to be very good. So it was Varane, you know, he's got the protection there, you've got the covering, you've got the, the now he's going to have the lit, so I've got no problems. Like, the partner needs to be good. I don't see him as, like, one of the A-sides where no matter who he plays next to, like, they will be all right. I don't I, I don't see it like that. I think he needs to be in the right conditions. But when he's not in the team, with what he offers us, the way he can progress the ball is brilliant. His box defending, like, he's usually, obviously right now he's, he's taken a while. Uh, to get back to speed is very very good. His aggression was <laughs> sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes over aggressive, and there's a lot of sort of times where he might step out and get turned, etc. But more than not, he's winning the ball. So you can't really you can't really berate someone for having that level of aggression. And sometimes it goes bad. That's that's the that's the risk versus reward when you defend like that. So I don't mind that the, the, the leadership, the passion. He gets it. You need someone like that. For me, he's just. Lost his level a little bit, like you said, Owen, because he's been injured. This is that simple. Well, and he needs not, to get back to his level. <laughs> teams are playing well. Still, you look at the top teams in the Premier League, they would all have Lissandra Martinez. But the way that they all play, they would all have him. Pep would have him in his team 100%. He probably he might not play him at, at centre back, in fairness. Yeah. Pep. Yeah. And he might he not might start up, all the time, but he, they but, would have him. They, squad, they, yeah. they, they, of, course they, of course they would. Of all of the majority yeah. of the teams playing out from the back, of course they would have Lissandra Martinez mm -hmm. in their team or the very least in their squad. So again, this idea that because we're having a, you know a tough time, suddenly you know he's this dead player that you know it's just another failure of a Manchester United signing is is, no. is just not true. He's not that, not but I, but, I, but, I, but that thing about overhyping the saying is that I do believe we've done that in parts with him. Like obviously the butcher thing is is like I get that, but I, I'm a little bit more like mm, yeah he is that, but like it has to be with a certain surroundings. Like I said, I don't think you leave him on an island. And I'm not saying you should leave any player on the line. Of course, they get exposed. I know that, but there has been a little bit. I think a bit too much. He's very good for me. He's right away, very good. I get a, a, a pushback to that in the chat. But a lot of people in the chat said no. Bleacher wouldn't oh. get into a lot of the top Premier League teams. You know, with um, with Arsenal or with City mm. or with Liverpool or Spurs he wouldn't get into or Arsenal. 
He wouldn't get into Arsenal. He'd be in the squad. But they, play a, set, but they play a settled back four, don't they? If you look at City, how yeah. settled is their back four? They, he chops and changes it all the time because of rotation. Leech and they wanted him heavily, first. Leach would heavily be in that rotation. Yeah. Arsenal were saying we wouldn't get into Arsenal's team, even though Arteta wanted Lissandro Martinez. And he turned mm. them and down for us. Instead. And got Timber yeah. instead. As I said, might not play centre back in some of those teams. Yeah. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. But are we are we now are we now into the territory where we're going like oh no he wouldn't get he wouldn't get anywhere near those teams. Is that is, is no, that he'd, he'd, is that the territory we're now in? Because he's had a couple get, of bad games. Arsenal. We're he'd now been like Arsenal, then he'd be nowhere near. He'd be nowhere yeah. near. He wouldn't. It's he bullshit. wouldn't. Not be nowhere that's not. That's yeah. not. That's not true. He wouldn't start. Is it, it's important. Well, they well they play with Van Dijk left centre back. Left centre back, but again, he yeah. might not. He plays another one with Liverpool. He might not just not end up playing set playing centre back under Arnie mm. Slot. By the way, Robertson. But then the way they've had Robertson traditionally, he might end as, up moving him that. In. I think I do think that the left back, but that's Lissandro, when it goes back to I don't system, think that's even it? really a thing. Yeah, but that again, even left back, Lissandro, I agree with you. I agree with you with that because when he played at left back for us in the Community Shield, he looked way, way, way off. But well, he ain't played. It, years, but yeah. it depends on the system, doesn't it? Because he could play yeah. left back for City because it'd be about oh actually you just get build up with the a free and yeah yeah, yeah you I mean? can do that style so, like the same boxing we to, we styles to, make in the same way that we need to stop overhyping players is totally true I totally agree with that that's what the Graham Sunes thing the other day with Cobby wasn't it and he is right in that regard but also we need to stop like just completely tearing down some of the better performers yeah, because say, we're in a yeah. difficult moment as well because we do it to everyone at the same time we hype them up and that's part of our problem. We hype them up really high, but then we tear them down so far below as well. Everyone's dead. Everyone's. But this awful. is interesting. This is this is. And that's why you worry for Cobby. That's why you yeah, worry yeah. for Cobby, isn't it? Because eventually, I'm I'm telling you now, Fleck, he's about six or nine months away from everyone going. Actually, he's dead. He's dead. Cobby's dead now. Why? Well, because he was never actually that good in the first place. And I said he wasn't that good in the first place. Blah blah blah. You know, yeah. we've got to well, be careful funny, with that. Actually, with our better players. Everyone in the everyone in our fan base. Is saying he is the best. Every, you know, anyone who claims that in a little bit again is doing the notoriety thing and just trying to, do you know what I mean? Um, say things for the sake of saying things. But these types of conversations do bring a lot of opinion. I mean, I saw Show say that basically Leacher would be in the squad. Show said he's on the bench and a squad player for those teams. The difference is we rely on him and he must play for us. So it does have loads of different opinions on these types of subjects, which is why it's interesting of how we actually rate our players because. In light of what you know, Graham Sowerness was saying, like there is, like you said, we do have to have these in conversations of the balance. It's either they're amazing and they're the homecoming of Rio, and bloody Steve Bruce all in one, or like you said, they used to be good, but now they're dead. They are no rubbish, this, that, and the other. And now the reality is there needs to be a level headedness between all of it. Like you can't, you can't just be on, on, on. Um, Someone like Lissandro and saying like he's dead, he's this, that, and the other now. When he wouldn't he's been get so any of the us, top teams, he and he's gone and won the World Cup and Copa America and played America, big parts. But he's dead. Get, you know what I mean? But he's <laughs> dead. But at the same time, you also can't be like he's the second coming of Christ. He's he's just I tell no, you, what, put him no. on any team, I, I, any I'll player. Give you the Liverpool one. What you want I'll give you the Liverpool one. He's you not. Look at their back four. He and you go that, he and you look at that back four. And that set. You go fair enough. You ain't getting the, Ars yeah. the Arsenal one. I'll give you that. He might not play centre back. In in yeah. and then because because they're set about parents locked in, isn't it? It's Saliba, yeah. it's Gabriel. So I'll give you that one. Yeah. But again, and it's about parents in the Spurs. Yeah, well, Romero, but, but same with Arsenal. Ben. The same way that you've got like Urien Timber, who was he plays centre back at Ajax, but then plays at full back now. And they play and they've they've moved to that sort of thing, don't they? Where they can play Ben White plays at right back as well, wherever, and he can play centre back though. They sort of shift yeah, yeah. them, don't they? Leach yeah. would get in that back four. Of course he would. Of course he yeah, would. Yeah, he could. He could have then, a role in it. He could, and then again with in. with City, but again, their their uh, back four parents shift and change all the time. Nathan Ake's <laughs> left back half the all time. The, so, all, the, I mean? all the all the time. Or Kanji's at full back or some shit like that. Like exactly, it, yeah, it's different. they play with four centre backs half the time. So it 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 is it is it is about systems. But I do think yeah, he needs help. There are times when we overgas him and say the butcher he can do everything and he gets twists up. Simple as that because he's over aggressive and sometimes thinks he's the man when he doesn't need to. And then there's other times where it's like, mate, we are shit without him. We need him for this style of play.